Hey everybody, I'm Minnie, and today I'm going to be trying silkworm pupa. And this is something that is really common in Korea. Like, I remember when I was little, I used to see this being served in like little plastic cups, and in the winter time, especially, people just grab it and go and eat it as a snack. They stick a toothpick in there and you just like eat it out of the cup. When I was younger, I thought that was so weird because it looks like they're eating bugs and they are eating bugs. I just thought it was such a weird thing growing up and now I get to try this in a canned product. So I'm gonna try and open it. Bah! Bah! <laughs> Guys, it smells so weird. As soon as you open it, it looks disgusting. Like, there's a bunch of dead bugs floating on top. Oh my god! It's like eating... <laughs> But I'm gonna do it for you guys and let you know how it tastes. I can't do this. Actually, individually, it doesn't smell that bad. It's kind of salty. Word of advice, don't look at it when you're eating it. It really helps. It has a kind of nutty flavor. Once you bite into it, ah! the juices flow out. It has the texture of a leaf. You can't really taste the insides. It tastes mushy. It kind of has a very soupy texture. I don't think I would recommend this to someone who doesn't like bugs. It does kind of have a grotesque texture and appearance. Once you put it in your mouth, the juices kind of flow out and it has kind of a nutty flavor, surprisingly. If you're interested in trying new textures, yeah, I would say go for it. If you go to a store that sells Korean products, you can definitely find it there. The brand I got was Yudong, but I, when I was shopping around, I saw other brands that carried this. That wasn't a very pleasant experience but hey i tried something new stay tuned for the next episode on mini dosage and you just got a mini dosage of silkworm pupa <laughs>